Okay guys, mabuhay maligayang pagbabalik sa aking YouTube channel. Pumalag na nga ang kampo ni Dominic Croque sa mga naglalabasang um, kwento or chika-chika tungkol sa kanya at tungkol sa breakup nila ni Bea Alonso of course. At syempre may mga nasangkot na politician kaya naman hindi na napigilan ni Dominic at naglabas na siya ng statement ha, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga abogado ang Fernandez and, Sing Fernandez and Singson Law Offices. Ayan, so et, nakikita nyo naman dyan yung statement na nakuha rin namin sa, isang, sa Instagram account ng GMA7. But anyways, um, ayan na nga, so babasahin ko ng statement at medyo malalalim nga ang mga chika rito katulad ng mga uh, terminology nila, di ba? So anyways, eto, we write on behalf of our client, Mr. Dominic Roque, appertaining to recent statements of Miss Christopher Min in her social media vlogs. We strongly condemn the malicious and defamatory public statement of Miss Fermin. This de defamatory statement were made by Miss Fermin under the guise of entertainment news without any effort from her to confirm the same from Mr. Dominic Roque. De uh, um, defamatory, mapanirang puri, yun ang ano nun. Um, in her blog, Miss Fermin made malicious defamatory inwendos, inwendos yung um yung pagpaparamdam nga. This inwendos alluded that Mr. Dominic Croque as a benefactor who is a politician and that this politician is the owner of the condominium unit where he currently resides. Ayun na nga, di ba? So, the messaging of the inwendos were clear and unambiguous. Just ko yung unambiguous and parang ano yan eh. Um... An ambiguous, yung parang hindi siya malabo eh. We're hindi siya malabo, klarong-klaro nga. Ayun. In fact, the malicious and baseless innuendos were quickly picked up by social media netizens, several of whom even uploaded a photo of the Pitan City Mayor Bullet Halusos without his knowledge and consent. Yun na, there is absolutely no truth to this malicious innuendos. Ayan. Mr. Dominic Roque is a longtime friend of Mayor Bullet Halusos and is leasing the unit owned by Mayor Halusos. So mali sinasabi sa statement na matagal na magkaibigan si Dominic at si Mayor Bullet Halusos at nirerentahan lang ni Dominic ang uh, condo unit na pag-aari ni Mayor Halusos. Ayan. Anyways, ito pa. He is embarrassed and apologizes to Mayor Bullet Halusos and his family for being dragged into the public conversation because of the malicious defamatory public innuendos of Ms. Fermin. Ito pa yung isa. In a separate blog, Ms. Fermin made a malicious defamatory statement that former Congressman Bong Soon Tai is one of the suspected benefactor of Mr. Dominic Roque. So, ayan nga. Diba? Um... Uh, Kung titignan nyo kasi meron mga vlog no na si uh, Cong former congressman Bong Soon Tai na ini-interview niya si Dominic Rocket. Magkaibigan din talaga sila. So actually nabuhay yung vlog na yun na panood ko nga yun. At ang pinag-uusapan nila sa vlog na yun ay si Bea Alonso pa yung tungkol sa relationship pa. Ganon yung, yung kwento nung vlog na yun. But anyway, by making such a statement, Miss Fermin made the innuendo that unreasonable cast doubt on the sexuality of former congressman Bong Soon Tai. So, yun nga, medyo nalagyan ng kulay. Again, Mr. Dominic Rocky would like to apologize to former congressman Bong Soon Tai and his family for the embarrassment caused by deplorable innuendos made by Ms. Fermin. Furthermore, Mr. Dominic Rocky does not own a clean fuel gas station. In fact, all clean fuel gas stations are company-owned. Company-owned, pero sana nga meron si Dominic Rocky ng ganun, di ba? gas station, bonggan bongga yon. Para hindi na pinagdududahan pa kung ano man. While Mr. Rocky acknowledges that as celebrities, a segment of his life is open to public discussion for being matters of general interest, specifically entertainment news. So, lahat naman, alam naman natin yan, hindi talaga sila mga kaiwas. However, mainstream media and independent bloggers alike are not given unbridled license in, exer in exercising free speech or freedom of the press. Unbridled yung parang walang pigil eh, yung, yung hindi ka pwedeng awaten. We have laws that exist to protect the integrity of and, and honor of individuals against public malicious and defamatory statements. Ms. Fermin acted outside the bounds of protected free speech and intentionally cause damage to the integrity of the affected individuals. Finally, to set the record straight, Mr. Dominic Rock and Ms. Bea Alonso never fought nor had the 
had a disagreement over prenuptial agreement. Le reckless statements relating to the alleged disagreement over a prenuptial agreement between them are not only unverified but merely based on speculations intended to to produce a negative image on the parted concern. So, yun lang ang sinasabi dun. But anyways, wala namang sinasabi dito kung ano yung plano ng, ni Dominic Roque kung magsasampa ba siya ng de demanda. Pero malinaw na mapanirang puri at sinagot niya yung mga yan. But anyway, since dinadaan na sa mga abogado ang ganitong statement, well, abangan na lang natin ang mga susunod na kabanata. Pero maganda rin naman yung nagsasalita si Dominic ay at nagbibigay siya ng statement at dinadaan niya sa legal na pamaraan. So, yun lang naman at sana ay mas malinawan pa ang mas maraming tao. Okay.